My name is Randy McIntosh. I'm the director of the Rotman Research Institute, also a senior scientist here. Uh, we're trying to design a virtual brain, and the, the virtual brain is essentially um, a summary of, of all the experimental information we've gathered on, on the normally functioning brain. The uh, nice thing about that is now because it is a human brain, we can give it damage and disease. We can make it have Alzheimer's disease, for example, show degeneration, show how the virtual brain tries to adapt to that uh, degenerative part of the Alzheimer's disease. The, the benefit of the virtual brain really comes in um, the early detection of, of Alzheimer's disease. Um, Alzheimer's disease obviously is a, usually a deficit we associate with aging, but it actually can express itself quite early on when you're 40, for example, earlier on. So the virtual brain actually provides with a more sensitive index um, of, of changes that may in fact signal the onset of early Alzheimer's and let's intervene much, much more uh, quickly and more effectively when that person uh, comes into the clinic by using brain scans, clinical assessment, and the virtual brain together to really help that early detection. And then we can actually uh, retard the, uh, the progression of the disease by a combination of potentially cognitive therapy as well as pharmacotherapy to maintain quality of life for a longer period of time. Uh, for more information, join us at 1mtweets.com.